back in the car again. Spending a lot of my time these last few days either in front of my computer or in the car, but you know, it's a busy time of year. Holidays are in a few days and I have to drop off some packages at the post office, some Poshmark packages. I have a Poshmark closet, I always mention it, but if you ever wanna check it out, it will be linked in the description of all of my videos. I'm on my way to go pick up my brother. We're gonna meet up for dinner. We're going to this diner. We love to go to little diners and cute places like that. So um, I'm actually glad we're going to a diner because I'm so tired, I need coffee. So I wanna get like a nice warm diner cup of coffee. Something about that just makes me so comforted. And then I think me and him might go shopping a little bit for Christmas gifts. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to the apartment. I literally woke up this morning just like in a frantic and then I also took like kind of a little bit of a nap after um, I filmed this morning. I'm just, I've just been so exhausted. I don't know if I'm not taking enough vitamins. I take my vitamins every day. I think it's just the time of the year. Like the few days before Christmas I feel like are always so crazy. So yeah, I'm like still tired so we get some coffee um, and then yeah when we go back home I have a few more last-minute gifts to wrap and I need to start preparing for tomorrow for our holiday girls night party I think I'm gonna like actually maybe do all that tomorrow because I have to go to buy some cookie dough I'm gonna make some cookies and I might just do that tomorrow but yeah we'll go home tonight wrap some gifts um, and I think I'm just gonna have like a chill night because I feel like I've been doing a lot for the past week and I really want to watch Christmas movies but I really want to watch the Charlie Brown Christmas. I watch it every single year and I haven't watched that yet. I need to fix my camera. Okay, so I've noticed when I'm editing my videos and when I'm watching my vlogs, there's like a little noise when my when I'm vlogging or like every time I move because the like hinges or the screws on the rear view mirror, not rear view mirror, rear view um, viewfinder of the camera, it's like loose. So I have this little like screen on the top of my camera. It goes um, because it's so loose. So I apologize for the excess noise. So yeah, I'm driving now. I'm gonna go get my brother and then we're gonna go eat and have a relaxing hump day Wednesday. Is anyone else feeling like extra tired this year? I feel like last Christmas, I, I wasn't this tired. The Christmas before that, I literally, I definitely wasn't tired because that was before COVID. That was 2019. I was, I had all the energy in the world. The Christmas before that, just like so much energy. But I really think COVID, the holidays during COVID really just like messed me up. And I think it messed a lot of people up in terms of like tiredness. And I'm not just physically tired. I'm like mentally tired. Not of work. It's not necessarily burnout. I'm just so tired of COVID. When is it gonna get better? Cause I just feel like we, ju we just go through waves. It goes up and down, it gets better, it gets worse, it gets better, it gets worse. <sighs> I don't know, I'm just tired overall of like this sense of fear and this sense of like, it's not normal. It's been like this for two years. Uh, like it started in, like I said in my Q and A with Anto, I was very aware in January of 2020 Actually, December 2019, I was very aware. I knew I was paying attention to, to what was going on in China. I play, I pay, I pay close attention to international news. So when I first heard of COVID in 2019 of December, I was like, "Oh, that sounds scary. I hope it doesn't come here." And it did. So I was very aware since then. So literally, it's been two years. We're going on to the, we're going into the third year. Isn't that crazy? Like the Spanish influenza didn't last this long. I don't know. So yeah, I am just I think mentally exhausted from all that too and I know a lot of people like I hear it's spreading quick in New York even in DC I hear it's like making its rounds now I think in just all the major metropolitan cities it's like getting bad again and they are now requiring vaccination cards in DC at like how they do in New York they're requiring vaccination cards at like restaurants gyms any type of public event place it's just getting crazy again and it makes me so upset that things aren't better. That's my little rant for the day. I'll stop. I'll stop being so depressing. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to stay positive. I mean, I love Christmas. Like this is my favorite time of year and I just wanna get into the Christmas spirit tonight. So 
yeah, we're gonna wrap presents. I'm gonna blast some Christmas music when I clean tonight. I'm gonna, uh, I said wrap gifts. I said that already. Um, watch Christmas movies. I need to finish my Christmas book. I was so obsessed with the first one I read. I really need to find time to finish the second one that I started. I still have three more, two more books to read, two more. And Christmas is pretty much over. I'm still gonna read them. Even though Christmas is over, I'm still gonna read them because like regardless of a, of a holiday, like it'll still be cute and romantic. And the holidays last till January 2nd for me, in my opinion. That's when the holidays are over. And I wanna keep my decorations up for all of January because they're just so cute. And I don't wanna get rid of them right away. I do miss my old decor though, like my normal one. But I think this year I love my Christmas decor way much better than last year, so we might keep that up for a little bit longer than usual. Okay guys, I will check with you later after I'm done driving. So we are gonna get into the Christmas spirit. So I was actually craving hot chocolate. I totally forgot I had this. It's from Target. It's the make your own hot drink bomb. The hot chocolate bombs. You can make your own. It's like a little kit. Forgot I had this, so we're gonna we're gonna make these right now. I really am just so tempted to just like eat the chocolate. I've been craving chocolate for days. <laughs> so, I have never, and I've never, like even, like had a chocolate bomb. Like I've never even drank a hot chocolate with one of these before. I know these were so popular last Christmas. I don't really know if they're that popular anymore, but we're gonna try it. It comes with everything you need. It comes with the mold and the chocolate wafers that you melt. Comes with marshmallows, the hot cocoa mix. Honestly, I have my own from Trader Joe's. I might use my own because I really like how that Trader Joe's ones taste. And then the sprinkles, and this is red icing. Oh, it's red, I thought it would be white because it's white on the box. But yeah, we're gonna attempt to do this. Hopefully this is not as hard as that uh, Target gingerbread house kit because that was a mess if you guys remember that vlog. Um, but yeah. I have high hopes, so okay, we're gonna get whip it on this. And watching one of my favorite Christmas movies, The Santa Claus. I love all the Santa Claus movies. I had this on VHS growing up. Yeah, I love all three of the Santa Claus movies. I used to I used to feel so bad for him in the first movie because they didn't believe he was Santa. I literally this this movie actually made me sad. Cause they were mean to him. <laughs> So we're gonna do two batches of the mold. I'm gonna put this in the freezer right now, and then in about probably, I don't know, five, 10 minutes or whenever it's frozen, I'm gonna take it out and then redo it again so that we have both the top and the bottom. So yeah, now we're gonna pop this in the freezer and wait for it to freeze. So I have all of my chocolate molds. I'm going to now put them together. I have to warm up this bowl of water and dump the water out when I'm done and then flip it over and then melt the edges of it. Well, first I have to fill them with the marshmallows and the hot chocolate mix. And then after that, I will melt, meld them together. And that's it, pretty easy. So we're gonna do that now.
Okay, you know what guys? I think at this point I have accepted the fact that either A, I am terrible at these little home crafty, baking, little Christmassy, little crafty things, or B, Target really sucks at these little at-home kits because this was a fail, mm-hmm, it was a fail. I assembled to put them together and they didn't want to stay together, so you know what, they're not gonna be together. They're gonna break up. We are not gonna be in a relationship. You guys are single, you guys are divorced. You guys will stay separate. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I warmed up my milk in the microwave. Plop, there you go. All done. That's what we're gonna do. Guys, I got way too tired of trying. I just wanna drink my hot chocolate. So I was just, I was just fed up, honestly. So we're gonna put that in there too. You know what, we're gonna just, we're just gonna add all the stuff in here now. Cause regardless of how these little things look, they're gonna be eaten anyway. So what's the point? I tried guys, I really tried. I know I said I was gonna watch a Christmas movie tonight, and I will, but first I need to watch, I need to watch this. I literally grew up on I Love Lucy. That show raised me. That show bonded me and my grandma together. My grandma was the one that loved that show. She got me into it, and one of my favorite shows growing up, she sent me all the DVD seasons. I have all the seasons on DVD, and I seriously love Lucy. I love Lucy. So this is on Amazon Prime for free. I think it just became available yesterday. So I'm gonna watch this. I like need to know what happened and their relationship. I think that's what it's about, right? It's about, I guess, just their relationship and what went wrong because they got divorced. I'm so excited. I'll give you guys an update at the end of the movie. Hi guys, it's the next morning. I finished the movie super, super, super late last night. So I just went straight to bed. I was so tired. But anyway, the movie, I thought it was okay. I thought it was a little bit all over the place and it honestly really depressed me because I didn't know Desi cheated. So that kind of just like ruined the show for me. I knew they got divorced and I knew they had issues but I didn't know he like cheated. But in terms of the movie, I thought, I thought Javier Bardem was not the best person to play Desi. I really thought Nicole Kidman did good because if you pay attention to the way Lucy's mannerisms and the way she talks are, I, f I really feel like she nailed it. Sure, she doesn't really look like her but I feel like the way she talked was like really like Lucy. So I kind of like Nicole Kidman, um, but Javier Bardem literally like didn't even sound anything like Desi or really look like him either. He was just like Hispanic, so they put him there. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of thought they would be like angling it more, like not so focused on that week of whatever crisis they were going through. And I had no idea she was like the C word. I'm not even going to like say that because I don't know if, if YouTube has like rules against that word. Um... But, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I thought it would focus more on, like, their family life and, like, the relationship. It did bits and parts of the relationship, but I feel like it was, like, all too much for me to, like, comprehend. I, I, I will give it, like, a 6 out of 10. So I'm editing the vlog right now. Yeah, I'm in bed. I edit the vlog in my bed sometimes. Um, so I'm going to end this vlog here. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. <laughs>